Today we're going to go through the steps of reversing a payroll check. You'll want to make sure that you're logged in as a system administrator. So for this example, we have Kathy Watts. You'll also want to go search the person that you're wanting to reverse the check on. For our example, it's Josh Bronson. And you'll want to click on the silhouette. This gets him to the quick links much easier and faster. So you want to go to pay statement history. And then locate the pay statement, the payroll that you're wanting to reverse. For our example purposes, we're wanting to reverse the 916 payroll. So you'll want to click on the pay statement. There's vital information on here that you'll want to write down. So on his pay statement, you will want to look at the check date, 9-16-2022, and the check number 3392, as well as the check amount, and also whether the check is direct deposit or if it's an actual paper check. For this, this is an actual paper check, not a direct deposit. This will mean something later. So we'll come under Teams, go down to Payroll, Process Payroll. To add new payroll, the payroll type is going to be a regular. You could choose void. However, if you choose that, it will void the entire payroll for everyone on that paid date. So you want to make sure that you're only wanting to choose regular because we're only voiding one person. Click Save and Continue. The pay date, again, this is the information that you wrote down, is going to be 9-16-2022. Under Name, this is where you would name your payroll. For our purposes, we're naming it for the demo BC, Bronson J, Void, and the uh, payroll date. And this, again, this is up to you and the nomenclature that you use for your company. The pay period from and to date are going to be the same as the paycheck date. I'll click Add New. And you'll receive this message. Do you want to add the payroll? Add. Also the completion. Payroll should show up here, so we need to change our dates and choose All and Apply. So now our payroll is showing up here. So you want to click on Payroll Prep Process and then go down to View Payroll Statements. Click New Pay Statement. And this we're adding for single employee only. So the employee is Josh Bronson. In the pay statement, this is where you can click void. So from here, you can go back down to our 916 pay statement. And preview the pay statement just to be sure that this is the correct one. So for the information that you had jotted down earlier, it is the 916-2022 payroll. The check number is 3392 with an amount of 18244. And click on the check mark so this will void the pay statement. And this is asking you the regular 916-2022. You do again, you have another double check here. Click yes. Again, another double check. These numbers should be negative. So from here, you'll click utilities, void options. This is just a good practice to put in place to block direct deposit reversals. This is a paper check, so it doesn't really pertain to this one. But should somebody have a direct deposit check, banks do not like doing uh, direct
direct deposit reversals. So if you just indicate it here, just put it in practice, then you won't have any issues with the bank. Apply changes, save, and it gives you the success message. Go back to payroll prep and scroll down. Now it's time to close the payroll. Do you want to close and lock the pay statements? Yes. Scroll down and it's time to finalize and deliver payroll. Would you like to finalize and deliver current payroll? Yes. And we have completed this step. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out at any time.